Nearly five decades after a Springfield altar boy was found dead along the Chicopee River, the district attorney announced the case is closed. 22 News is working for you tonight with live team coverage, and 22 News reporter Nick Oresco is live outside Springfield District Court with new information on the investigation, Nick. Yeah, the search for answers and proof of what happened to Danny Croto has played out for more than 49 years. And today, a conclusion has been reached. No one will be charged. The only suspect in this case is now dead. Nearly 50 years after the investigation into the murder of 13-year-old Danny Croto, the case is officially closed. Former Catholic priest Richard Levine, who was named as a suspect but never charged, died this past Friday in a hospital in Greenfield. Earlier that day before he died, District Attorney Anthony Galuni authorized an arrest warrant for Levine in that murder. Regrettably, due to Levine's death, there will be no pro prosecution or trial. But due to the credible and significant evidence that has been assembled in the last year that incriminates Richard Levine, I am announcing today that the investigation into the murder of Danny Croto is now officially closed. The investigation began after Danny Croto was found dead along the banks of the Chicopee River in April 1972. Levine became a person of interest because of the inconsistent and unusual statements he made to investigators in the days after the murder. Croto was an altar boy at St. Catherine of Siena Church in Springfield, where Levine served as assistant pastor as well as a family friend. During the investigation, Levine refused to specifically admit that he killed Danny Croto, but he made several statements to indicate that he was the last person to see him alive. Investigators conducted a series of interviews with the former priest earlier this year. Those conversations were recorded during 11 hours of interviews over five days. I don't remember calling anyone. Did you tell the police? I don't believe I did. I don't believe you did either. Danny was the youngest of five boys in the Croto family, one of his brothers expressing emotion and hoping for closure. We're disappointed that he's not being brought to justice, but just like this attorney, we believe there's a higher power and he will face that higher power now. The DA said today that he does believe that if Levine was still alive, investigators are confident that they would have enough evidence to charge him with murder. But again, there will be no trial. 22 News anchor Don Shipman is live along the Chicopee River tonight with the background on this case and reaction from the new bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Springfield. Don. Yeah, Nick, like you mentioned, this case dates back more than 40 years. And this right here is where Danny's body was discovered along the banks of the Chicopee River here in Chicopee. The DA's office said that he was still dressed in his clothes from his previous school day at Our Lady of Sacred Heart School. Danny Croto of Springfield was last seen alive on the evening of April 14th, 1972. His family had reported him missing during the overnight hours, his body being discovered in Chicopee the following morning. Now, Father Richard Levine was a close family friend of the Crotos. He was their parish priest in Springfield and remained close with them even after being reassigned to another church. After Danny's murder, Levine became a person of interest in the early stages of the investigation because of inconsistent and unusual statements he was making to investigators at the time. He remained a person of interest all of these years. Now, separately, Levine served 10 years of probation after pleading guilty to two counts of molesting male parishioners, and he was defrocked by the Catholic Church in 2005. And tonight, we are also hearing from the bishop of the Springfield Roman Catholic Diocese regarding today's developments. He said that the failures of church leaders has left many asking questions about their faith, but it's still time now to work towards healing. We can rewrite history, but we can, we can make the future one that children are safe where they should be in church and that all uh, the working with our environment, our Office of Safe Environment, that we will do everything we possibly can to make sure that the church is a safe place for all people. 
Bishop Burns said that there may still be many other victims of clergy sexual abuse who have yet to come forward. And those victims can call the abuse reporting phone line. We have the number for you. It's 800-842-9055. You can also email to report abuse at dio springfield.org and by the way we have all that information for you at our website at wwlp.com working for you live here in chicopee don shipman 22 news